We live in a world where interest rates are rising, mortgage applications are going down, people still think that their house is, is, is a castle, right? And we as appraisers need to be very, very, very careful with the way that we proceed with what we do. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds, it's the Appraiser Coach Podcast, helping appraisers increase their efficiency, quality, and make more money. Here's the guy who makes it his life's mission to create value for real estate appraisers nationwide, your host. Dustin Harris. I was in a mastermind meeting this week uh, where someone said that they actually went to uh, a board meeting and actually sat through a board meeting. He, he said it was very interesting to watch how these things proceed. By the way, most of these, if, if not all, are you know open to the public. I would highly recommend if you've not seen them in the past that you attend. And and you know it's nice to see what's on the other side. Right? It's nice to see, oh, really, you can get in trouble for that, huh? But uh, as he was sitting in this meeting, he said that uh, there was a female appraiser who was standing before the board because of a questionable report, right? Somebody had turned something in and they had gone through and he said the board was kind of, you know, tearing her apart, if you will, dressing her down on her report and kept asking, well, where did this uh, adjustment come from? Where did that adjustment come from? And uh, you would not believe, yeah, you would, <laughs> you would not believe what her answer was, not just once but multiple times. Folks, I want to pause here and remind you that we're sponsored by Synapse. Synapse is the ability for you to support your adjustments. Folks, I cannot think of a better episode than to have Synapse as a sponsor. You can find out more in the meantime, before we talk about them, by going to sparkforappraisers.com. And right in the middle of the page, you will see a great little link that says, click here to learn more about Synapse. Check them out. It's Synapse for Appraisers by going to sparkforappraisers.com. We're sponsored, of course, by OREP, which is the ENO of choice for my company. Uh, why? Well, we've been with them for many, many years and have really loved the support that they give. And the cost is great. They're a broker, not a direct. So they shop around and get the best price for you. They will be there to support you when you need it. It's ENO through OREP, O-R-E-P dot org. And finally, we're sponsored by CoreLogic a la mode. A la mode, of course, is the software that appraisers use across the nation. Well, folks, it's the best. It really is. Check them out. Go to alamode.com or call them at 800 a mode. So sitting in a mastermind meeting, talking to, to my appraiser friend of mine, he was sharing this story of how great it was to go to a, a board meeting. I know that sounds silly, right? How exciting. I'm going to go to a board meeting. But folks, you can learn so much by going to these board meetings and really finding out what is it that they're concerned about. I think you might be surprised of things that they are concerned about that you don't think they are, or things that they're not concerned about that you might think that they are. Just going through one of those processes of watching someone else to try to support themselves. Now, he told the story of a female appraiser who was standing before the board, and uh, she was basically getting torn apart <laughs> by the board about her adjustments and this, that, and the other. And folks, he said it was cringeworthy because you hear this cliche, right? You hear this cliche that appraisers will say something like, well, in my 30 years of experience, that's what I found works. Folks, can you imagine? Can you imagine actually saying that to the board? I can't imagine it. But he said, it, Dustin, it didn't happen just once, but multiple times. And finally, one of the board members, and I'm telling this third party, so I don't know if I'm fully getting the, the, the whole story. It's just off of memory. But finally, one of the board members interrupted her and said, your experience is not support for what we're doing here. And by the way, her argument back to him was, well, then why don't we just have computers do the appraisals if our opinion doesn't matter? Folks, facepalm, right? <laughs> if your response to the state board or a revision request, or are you putting this in the report, right? To why did you use $65 a square foot? If that answer is my 30 years experience. Now, I will give you this. That can be part of a bigger explanation, and I'll give you that. Okay. If you start out and say, well, in my 30 years of experience, I have found that if I do regression analysis and I do it this way and I, and I, and I uh, delete these types of outliers, right? Okay. That's one thing. But to start and end with the description of, well, in my 30 years experience, I found that $65 a square foot works great. I promise you, my friends, that is not going to go very far with the state board. 
All right. So if that is your answer, <laughs> okay, if if when you are asked to support your adjustments, if that is your answer, and by the way, when I say when you're asked to support your adjustments, are we not doing that in our reports to begin with? Don't we make this legible and readable to the to the end user to begin with? Now, I don't say that you need to explain every single thing and every single aspect of why you do what you do, but it better be in your work file. It better be retrievable. When you are asked for it, your answer cannot be, well, in my 30 years experience, and I know some of you are saying, well, well, Dustin, I haven't been doing it 30 years, so how about my 20 years experience? How about my 10? How about my 12? How about my? No, folks, it doesn't work. Your experience means nothing. I'm telling you, folks, means nothing when it comes to support for your adjustments, for support for your analysis, support for your opinions, support for your final reconciliation. None of this can be based solely on my experience alone. So the question on the on the board today. Well, okay, Dustin, if I can't use my 30 years or 20 years or 12 years or 10 years or two years experience as a real estate appraiser, what can I use? Well, I'm glad you asked, my friends. It's a great time to pause and remind you about a great sponsor here called Synapse. <laughs> now, folks, I will get to others after the break, okay? Yes, Synapse pays me money to say nice things about them. It is very easy to do because it is a program that's easy to say nice things about. I will say this in all seriousness. Of all, and I've looked at them all. Okay, I'm not going to name names, but I've looked at them all. There's a lot of programs on the market right now that supposedly support your adjustments. There is nothing like Synapse. And I promise you, folks, I am not just saying that because they send me a paycheck. I am saying that because it is absolutely 100% true. And I was saying it long before they were paying me to be a sponsor here on the program. Okay. Ask my mastermind students. Synapse comes up often and we talk about what a wonderful program. What is it? Folks, it is a way to look at your adjustments from a different angle, more than just my 30 years experience. Now, I don't have time to go into the great detail okay, here, but trust me when I say go to sparkforappraisers.com, sparkforappraisers.com, click on that blue button that says click here for more information, okay, and then you can look and see what happened, the multiple methods that it uses, the data control, the digital work file, it keeps all of this data, so if you're ever called on the carpet, you don't have to pull it up again, it's right there. Folks, it's an amazing program. Check them out. Go to sparkforappraisers.com and click on the Synapse button. Alamode, of course, has been in business over 30 years, helping appraisers to be more efficient, but do so not at the cost of quality. That's the cool thing about Alamode. It doesn't just allow you to create a faster report. It allows you to create a faster report at a better quality than you could using the other guys. Find out more by going to their website. Or you know what? I actually encourage you to just pick up the phone. Call them at 800 all mode because you can have a discussion. They're real people. Real people will answer the phones. They will answer your questions. You can find out more either there or going to their website at allamode.com. OREP is the ENO that I am using and have been using for years. Why? Well, because I love it because it supports me, because there's free CE, because they shop around and every year it's an easy, easy, breezy way to get your ENO renewed. It's ENO through OREP. OREP.org is where you go to find out more. That's O-R-E-P dot org. Welcome back to the program, everybody. Dustin Harris hanging out in the podcast chair. We're talking, well, a little bit today about, uh, you know, the the old joke, right? If you're asked where you support your adjustments, it's this idea of, well, in my 30 years experience, probably not the best answer. So the question on the board then is, where what is the best answer, right? How do you support? Now, I think we need to be really careful about our language. I've heard somebody say, well, how do you prove that adjustment? I don't think you can actually do that. I really don't. Any more than you can prove prove any other opinion, which is really, let's face it, okay, it's an educated opinion of value that we give as appraisers. It's an educated opinion of an adjustment that we give as appraisers. So because it's not a true fact, okay, it's not a true fact that $65 a square feet and not 64 and not 66 is the quote unquote accurate uh, adjustment. Let's lay that on the table right off the top. Right? There's no right or wrong answer, but there is a supportable and unsupportable answer. And I think that's the key. We're never going to prove our adjustments, but we absolutely should be supporting our adjustments. So Dustin, let's get to it. How do you do it? Well, I talked about one at the break. Okay, Synapse is a great way to go in uh, and, and look at multiple methods to find out. Paired sales analysis, folks, they do this. Grouped data. Okay, There's six types of linear regression, sensitivity analysis, depreciated cost, all of this stuff you get with, with, with Synapse. Now, I know some of you are going, what? 
What is, what is sensitivity analysis? What is simple linear regression? Folks, it's okay. It's all right. Everybody has to learn it somewhere, okay? But trust me, you're going to feel much more confident in your adjustments when you use something like that, okay? There are other methods as well. Years ago, uh, Josh Wallet and I did a uh, webinar that you can find on my website uh, talking about regression analysis. And we went through some of the things that Synapse does, uh, some of the things that Josh Wallet does with his program. Uh, the uh, I, I believe it's called Market Machine. Correct me if I'm wrong, Josh, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, and, and it's a great program, right? And it's a, and it's a very well-known method to come up with some support for some of these adjustments that we make. But that's not the only thing you can do, right? Paired sales, I know it doesn't really exist, but you can do paired sales. At least I call them unpaired sales, right? Where you get something at least close, that at least gives you a pretty good idea of, of where you're at on things, okay? And you can do these methods and should be doing these methods in such a way that when you're asked to support adjustments that you have the opportunity and the ability, that's the key word here, the ability to do so. Folks, step back for just a moment. Ask yourself the question, if you were to ever be challenged, even if it was on a friendly basis, maybe it's just your client saying, hey, I noticed you did this. Can you tell me a little bit more of where that came from? If, if that strikes fear into you, then there's a problem, right? If you get that question and go, oh, crap, <laughs> where do I go from here? Then my guess is that you're probably guessing. My guess is that you're licking the finger, sticking it in the air and, 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 and calling it, you know, reasonable. Um, we've all done it. I'm telling you, folks, we live in a different world. We do. We live in a world where interest rates are rising, mortgage applications are going down, people still think that their house is, is, is a castle, right? And we as appraisers need to be very, very, very careful with the way that we proceed with what we do because there may and probably will come a time when you're going to get a buyback and they're going to come back on you and they're going to point at you and say, well, wait a second, it's the appraiser's fault. Well, folks, here's the thing. If you have a better answer than, well, in my 30 years experience, I promise you that you're going to be on a much more solid uh, space than, than the former. If you have any ability at all to be an appraiser, you should have any ability at all to be able to support what you do as an appraiser. That means if you make an adjustment that you have an opportunity to support, not prove, but support that adjustment. By doing so, you give credibility to the appraisal industry in general, but more specifically, give credibility to yourself. When you sign your John Henry on the end of that document and you say, I am the appraiser or I am the supervisor appraiser, okay, you're also signing that everything in that report is true and accurate. How do you get to that point, folks? I think you've got to support what you do. We live in a world where more and more this is going to be important. And honestly, in my mastermind meetings and my one-on-one -on -one coachings, I'm hearing it more and more. Dustin, I'll just be honest. I just kind of made stuff up along the way. I don't feel good about that anymore. I've got to find something different, folks. I think that's a wise direction to go to make sure that what you're doing is on the up and up. There's lots of programs out there. Synapse is only one of them that can allow you to support what you do and feel much better moving forward about your reports. Folks, I would encourage you to take a look at that regression uh, webinar that I, I told you about earlier with Josh Wallet. It's still for sale. It's on my website. You can, you can go through it. And folks, if you don't know what regression is, I highly recommend you watch it for that purpose and none, and none else. You get to the end of that and you will absolutely understand what it is to do regression, which will allow you to be able to utilize it more in your appraisal office. Check it out by going to theappraisercoach.com and clicking on products. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the all-star team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value. Check it out by going to theappraisercoach.com and switching on or clicking on, sorry editor,